Spangler and Mark are in the backyard today. This is an experiment that they need a little sun for. Mark? Yeah, this, this is called uh, Kill the Science Guy and the New Sky. <laughs> yeah. Send them to the planet of the sun. It is yeah. hot back here. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. I said we had to be the sun. We were going to be in the shade, like we normally set up in the shade. And uh, I said to our photojournalist, uh, Anna, we've got to be in the sun. <laughs> and she goes, oh gosh, oh you've got to be in the sun. Yeah, good, okay, good. here's the reason why. This is a very uh, cool thing called uh, sun print paper. Uh -huh. We used to make this years ago when I taught at Regis University. We'd have the kids go out and make this in the summertime. You take these two chemicals and you put it on paper, and now it's. Uh, uh, photoreactive or photosensitive. So as soon as you put it out in the sun, it will change color. All right. Ah. So Kim has in the studio, she can hold up just a piece of the paper and what it really looks like. So if she looks at that piece of paper, it hasn't been developed at all. So it's this blue piece of paper that hasn't been developed. Okay. And that's exactly what we have down here. Ready? Okay. So here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to expose it now. Okay. And there's some stuff underneath. So we're exposing it. I oh, better okay. stick this over here. Ah. Oh, so yeah, we're nice. going to get So now we're exposing it. Okay. And you want to expose it for about two minutes or so. And so now you've got this chemical reaction going on with the paper, which is very, very cool when we're done and she also has fabric too so there's a piece of fabric and so if Kim shows it's sun sensitive fabric, fabric yeah. as well yeah absolutely so okay. here's what it looks like being exposed but there's Kim's fabric right there ah, and so okay. it's not ah. being exposed at all it doesn't do anything indoors unless you have a little bit of ultraviolet light even under the, the bright kicker. studio lights it has well, to be, it has it has to be a little sunlight. incandescent sometimes yeah. can try and but that's all part of the science project okay, okay. so I think we're, we're kind of done we should let this for about two minutes but I think it's gonna be fine okay. watch what happens let me take the keys off for example oh, can for you see this a negative yeah exactly and now you just dip it down inside so go ahead and try it dip it down inside okay, the water, the water and it stops the chemical reaction do I take so it should, out now yeah that's fine so you should really do it oh, for about oh I don't know four or five minutes uh, in, inside there but it will do this so here's this one that goes down inside here try the fabric the fabrics very cool we've so got here, so many put cool the fabric pictures. down inside okay. all right so just dip, immerse it into yeah dip the it down inside and you can actually see it change color oh, down it inside is. Oh, for heaven's so sake. I even took some pictures of you look at you guys dun da 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 is that kind of cool when it kind of comes out that that's, that's is, really that really cool is very now this cool is stuff. fully developed so look at this so keep it in the water for okay. a second all right so all put right. it inside you see all okay. the chemicals kind of coming yes. off mm -hmm. so take yes. a look at this when we're all done this is what you kind of get and that's now it's kind of tie dye sort of Exactly yeah. right, but it's using this photosensitive kind of paper. So put the little Muppet character there, why not? And some <laughs> keys and so forth. Was that fun? So now where do you get the what do you get the I'll put paper. some links online. It's called Sunprint. If you just Google Sunprint paper, you'll okay. come up with it in photoreactive paper. Or we can go to Steve Spangler Science. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll give you o'clock page. That's right. I'll give you all the information. Right. I even took a picture of Kim and put it on there. So she has a negative picture of herself inside. So Does it she? looks like the shroud of Kim just a little bit. So your picture Kim. Oh, oh, there you are. There's, so there's that. And now look on the paper. Oh yeah, take the look, look at the paper. Oh, it's like <gasps> look at this. So it's like a little that. negative <laughs> that's there. See, is that pretty funny? And I that even put her on some fabric. Cool. So she's sitting on fabric as well. Oh, it's the shroud of is Kim Christensen. Kim. Yes, that well. fun? <laughs> a great chemical reaction. Very, very easy good. for kids to do. It's really a popular <laughs> thing right now with all the summer camps and the vacation school kind of camps yeah. and so forth. And Kim yeah. has a future on the prices, right? Exactly right. She does. The whole or she can put on eBay and just simply say it's the shroud of Kim. Four o'clock page. Spangler Science. The colorful blue and yellow logo. Steve Spangler, as always, thank you very much. Thank you very much. We will be right back.